We're going to move on to some young quarterbacks that are kind of at the forefront of their careers. And we've got a bunch of really good ones that are, that, that have some contracts coming up that are ready to, to get that first big deal and get signed. Uh, so, you know, I, why don't you run through kind of who we're, who we're looking at with some of these young quarterbacks and, 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 you know, we can talk a little bit about maybe where we think those contracts will come in at. Sure. To be fair, I got this from uh, from t- from Twitter from uh, Dove Kleiman. Um, not exactly Dove sure Kleiman. who he is, but um, the guy puts out great content. So follow. He does. I see a lot of Dove Kleiman stuff myself. Yes, agreed. It, it's Shout all- out to Dove Kleiman. You ever want to come on the show, Dove Kleiman? You're welcome here anytime on You Get the Horns. I lost you there. You still there? No, you're good. All good. Oh, gotcha. All All right. Yep. So shout out to Dove. Uh, Puts out good stuff. So he put out a tweet asking how the following quarterbacks should be paid from most to least. All right. Now, here here are the quarterbacks. Lamar Jackson, Joe Burrow, Jalen Hurts, Justin Herbert. And I'm assuming just because he puts a lot of funny stuff out there, he threw in Daniel Jones. Uh, I think for our conversation, I think even <laughs> Daniel Jones, his family would think that he should probably be paid least. Not saying J- Daniel Jones is not going to get paid. Uh, people think it's crazy that yeah. he's asking for forty-five. I don't think it's that insane, especially when he's going to get tagged and be at thirty-two on the tag. If they decide to tag him, I, I don't. I don't know that. 40 to 45 million is going to be without uh, the realm of possibility for him. So good on him. It's perfect timing yeah. to be, uh, to be coming up on a contract <laughs> as a quarterback who it plays at least no somewhat doubt. decently. I assume Daniel's yep. going to have to throw for more than, uh, you know, 20 touchdowns in a season uh, to, you know, to really <laughs> make it worthwhile, but dude's got legs. I mean, over 700 yards last year, but for this conversation, yeah. we're going to kick Daniel Jones out. We're going to—he's—I—I yeah. I, I can't imagine there's ever. He's your I, bottom. D- Daniel Jones is your bottom. Everything your bottom. else is above that. I, I would yeah. love for someone to make an argument that he should get paid above any of these other guys. I would love to hear that argument. So maybe that's something we can throw out yeah. to people if uh, if they so inclined to, uh, you know, to to comment on these. Uh, so all right, Lamar Jackson. Joe Burrow, Jalen Hurts, Justin Herbert. Who deserves to get paid the most to the least? Hmm. Okay. You want me to go first on this? Yeah, go first. To me, I'm going Burrow first. I think proven as a quarterback, uh, it's Joe Burrow. So he's your top guy. Now... If Burrow's top, it it starts to get really, really interesting from there, doesn't it? Because (sighs) Lamar is an MVP. Um, But he really has not played statistically dominant football or been healthy for the last couple of years to play an entire season. That's two years, yeah. Yeah, he's still going to get paid a lot of money. Jalen, great year last year. MVP candidate for a good portion of the year. Took his team to the Super Bowl. Um, Justin Herbert may be more talented than any of these people, but I don't think Herbert is going to be you know in that in that class right now. So I'm going to say after Burrow, I'm probably going to go. Gosh, it might actually be Lamar, Hurts, Herbert. So Burrow. Go Joe Burrow, Lamar Jackson, Jalen Hurts, Justin Herbert. It's hard to argue. Now, this that. is a tough one. I mean, I could I could see any argument there. I could absolutely put Hurts above Lamar mm-hmm. and just say Burrow, Jalen Hurts, Lamar, Justin Herbert. Again, if we were just paying off of true production and true skill set and potential. Again, you may do this totally differently. You may say Herbert's one or two, but the problem is he's playing for the Chargers who aren't winning, and right. the, and you know it's just it's not there. So it's uh, tough. It's tough. It's tough. Yeah. What do you think? <sighs> Let's start from the top. I mean, do you agree that do you agree that Joe Burrow's number one, or do you have a different number one? It's hard to argue Burrow number one. 
I will make an argument, however, because I believe there is a recency bias here. All things equal, everyone's healthy, yep. and maybe you do have to throw that factor in there. I'm taking Lamar one. I'm going to pay Lamar the most. Former MVP. He is your team. So, again, it's probably would be based on who, what, whose team's paying who. But I, he's done more than Burrow has, I think. I'm probably going to get blasted for this um, by... <laughs> By the Bengals fans. I love Joe. Uh, I hate Cincinnati, but I love Joe. Um, I, I think, oh, man, this is tough. If you gave Lamar Jackson those weapons that Joe Burrow had, what do you think Lamar could do with the legs that he has? Yeah. I mean, we say this about every quarterback. I mean, sure. it, it, like, imagine Patrick Mahomes having the weapons that, uh, that Joe yeah. Burrow has. Mm-hmm. I mean, the, the, that's the thing. Joe Burrow has – he's in the right place at the right time. That's not taking anything away from oh, him no. as a quarterback. No, that's – But for him to have walked into that situation with those weapons at, at the receiver and running back position yeah. and a solid defense, I mean, you couldn't ask – the table was perfectly set for him to be successful. He's taken advantage of that opportunity. Good for him. But, you know, I saw a stat the other day that the Ravens have spent the least amount of money in the NFL on their offense since having drafted Lamar Jackson. And so when you look at that and you think, okay, he's done what he's done, and in that time I think they've had a a top 10 ranked uh, offense each year, or I'd have to go back and look at the exact numbers, but successful. Yeah. And and you, you look at those weapons that a Joe Burrow has, and I mean, of course Joe Burrow's playing well. He should be, given those situations. Yeah. So it's kind of like when Wilt Chamberlain was playing basketball. He was the only tall guy. He puts up a lot of points, right? <laughs> but right, it's kind of like right. a physical mismatch. So a, we would expect Joe Burrow to do really good things. So I, I hear you. So you're saying then you would actually put Lamar number one. Number one. And then I think then maybe Burrow – Hurts than Herbert. However, if you're starting a team, so let's just say you can put together a super team with Jamar Chase on that team, you know, with Stefan Diggs, with Justin Jefferson. Yeah. Who, who who would you want to be the quarterback out of those four? Lamar, Joe, <laughs> Jalen, or Justin? In my mind, if I were going to put that team together, as you just described, a super team of the best receivers and everything, yeah, there's only two quarterbacks out of that that I would want to have the most. And those, honestly, in terms of from a pure quarterback perspective, it's Joe Burrow and Justin Herbert. Okay. Those are the two most talented, pure passing quarterbacks. Lamar and Jalen Hurts, the overall weapons that they are, uh, it, it's far more dynamic. But if you had a team completely stacked with every weapon on offense, then I don't think you plan on running your quarterback as much and doing all of those things, in which case I want the best pure passers, which is back to a Burrow and a Herbert. This is tough. I, I'm going to be so curious to see what everyone <laughs> else has to say. I mean, I could you could make a case, I think, for all of them, because if you put a Justin Herbert yes. with the Eagles or you put the Justin Herbert with Cincinnati, even with Baltimore, like yeah. is he, he does he make the team better? I, I, I think so. Uh, and then Jalen. Jalen's the X factor here, right? Because he had yes. a you know, pretty good last year. Not, 22 touchdowns. Right. He had a pretty good last year, and this year was – Excellent. I mean, for everything he did, like he he just, he was amazing and even amazing in the Super Bowl, except for the one bad play call that, you know, he should have just taken the sack and and been done. Right. So you could even make an argument like, man, put Jalen Hurts, put those receivers around Hurts and he's got good receivers, I guess. So I would love to see one more year out of Hurts. If Hurts has another year like he has, um, like he had this year, does he does he pass anyone on this list? In your opinion, we already have him. I, don't know, I guess ahead of Herbert. I, I, I guess I, I I have him ahead of a Herbert. So then the question is, can he get above a Lamar or a Burrow? In my mind, because of the fact I had Lamar number two, I would say, yeah, if he has another year as good or better than this year, 
um, and that, that that does mean that he stays healthy. Yeah. Then then I think he could potentially start to get an edge above Lamar. Going to be interesting. So yeah, and I I'm going to assume all these guys are probably going to get a contract this off season. I'm not so sure about Herbert. I haven't heard a lot about his contract situation or whether or not they're looking to um, to give him an extension. So I wonder if he'll play another year before they uh, start. I think that. they're going to give him an extension, but if I'm him, I'm just content to sit back and wait, right? Let these other Show guys. Me like, what you can I do. think everybody right now is waiting to see what Lamar is going to do. <laughs> and what That contract is going to look like. I mean, we could do a whole episode just on Lamar Jackson's relationship with the Ravens and his contract situation. But, you know, I think everyone right now, and if, and I don't blame them. If I'm a Joe Burrow, I'm sitting back saying, well, I don't want to do anything until I see what happens with Lamar. Because if someone, won't be the Ravens in my opinion, but if someone is willing to give Lamar a largely and or completely guaranteed contract, then you better believe the Joe Burrows of the world are not going to be expecting anything less than that. I know. So and this how is, and we talked about it some last week, but this is potentially a huge moment for contracts, particularly at the quarterback position in the NFL moving forward, this yeah. Lamar situation. And I do think that's why the Ravens have kind of dug in their heels on this as well to say, no players bigger than the team. We want to be fair and reasonable, but it has to, it has to work for both sides. And uh, I think everyone else right now is just holding their breath and waiting to see what happens with this contract with Lamar, because they all could either make a whole lot more money because of it, at least in guaranteed money, or it may be business as usual, and nobody wants to be the guy who signs first and misses out on anything by jumping yeah. the gun. Yeah, I mean, look at Patrick Mahomes. Like that deal now yeah. looks brilliant. He's yeah. making so no forty something. Deal. That, uh, yeah, ten year deal. He's <laughs> going to be making what forty plus, and all all these other guys are going to be passing him. <laughs> And all he is is two time Super Bowl champ, two time NFL <laughs> MVP. And there's going to yeah. be five, six guys that are going to be passing him relatively soon here, maybe even this offseason. So just whatever Crazy. your free agency Hard is up, man. Yep. That's it. Timing is everything. Timing, Timing is, is everything. Yeah. Yep. And I will go ahead. I'm going to put this poll up uh, both on Spotify and on our YouTube. I'll put a poll up and let people vote on who they think of these quarterbacks should make the most money. Right Between Joe Burrow, Jalen Hurts, Justin Herbert, Lamar Jackson, of those four quarterbacks, who should make the most I'll put that poll up and uh, we can maybe talk next week about what some of those results were. That'll be good. Put put. Put Daniel Jones on there. I mean, just come on. His family's <laughs> watching, man. Okay. His family's watching, man. Put him on there. All right, Daniel Jones, you're going to be on the poll as uh, well. All right. Keep an all eye right. out. Check on a, can't vote too many times for yourself. I'm going to limit to one <laughs> vote per person. So J- Daniel Jones is going to be sitting there clicking and clicking and clicking. We're not going to we're not going to play those games no, again, Daniel. Right, you burned me that. last time. <laughs> <laughs> you burned me last time. Fool me once. Shame on you.